Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here, and in today's video, we're trying out some aggro shaman. Uh, this deck caps out at three mana at the high end. Uh, it's basically a deck where you want your tunnel trogs and your surging tempests to stick, and then you make them bigger, or the tunnel trog bigger and bigger, and then you basically just burst your opponent down. So up against a paladin, um, I don't really want any of these, particularly. I'm looking for my Surging Tempest and my Tunnel Trog. I'm looking for my Diligent Note Taker to be able to return spells to my hand. I need my Lickum, I need my Totem Golem. And I got two of the four cards I wanted, so that's pretty good. So this is most likely a Mech Paladin. Lightning Bloom is pretty cool. So why don't we just go ahead and do that now? We have a board. Turn one, by the way. Reporting for duty. Okay, so I'm just going to aim these at the face. If anything, um, the Serpent Shrine Portal, I might use it on a minion. It depends what comes down. Okay, so this is Libra and Paladin, not Mech. So what I like here is I actually like going Lightning Bolt, Coin, Portal. And there we go. It's that simple. Okay, let's try another one. And one very bad matchup to queue into would be a druid or a warrior that tries to armor up a lot. Okay, we have another paladin. Okay, so we have the tempest. It's not bad. I can Tempest Bloom Totem Golem and have no turn to play. Even better. I'm gonna chill. I want to go Tempest. Tempest, maybe Bloom. Depends what we get. I just, it didn't feel right to Bloom the Totem Golem there. Oh my goodness. Very well. So I like going this. Overcharged and ready to fight. This. Uh, this. I think we value trade, so we keep the trog. It just guarantees the trog is going to stay alive. So next turn we have one mana to work with. So I'm happy to slam a bolt down. Okay. 
hero is immune until your next turn. Well, that's not very nice. Do you have another one of those, my friend? Uh oh. Uh oh. That was fun. Very interactive. Okay, let's try and find another victim. Ooh, a Warlock. Dark Glare Warlock. They tend to go very low on health. Well, turn one and turn two look clear. Unless they throw a Flame Imp down, then I'm kind of sad. That's okay. Oh boy. Let's go. Overcharged and ready to fight. Go ahead and tap, I dare you. Another one. Overcharged and ready to fight. Stop him first. Just hit him in the face. So Gollum is going to do, if, when I play Gollum next turn, so many that's another uh, for the tour? 7 damage. Interesting. Now I actually want to trade into that because I don't want my opponent to heal. Every little bit counts. I also didn't want to value trade there. I feel like the three damage. I feel like the two damage is relevant. Haven't got any spells yet. Who's excited for this to get nerfed, by the way? What is it, two mana, two, three? After your hero takes damage, refresh one mana crystal? That's how it should have been. I have lethal, no I don't. I am two off. Lava shock. Stop him. Okay. Guide me. I had to lava shock first to unlock the mana to play the lickum. Spellstone hurts. That hurts. Ow. Ow. Hey, loser. But 
if I lick him first instead of Lava Shock, they'd be at the same life total, by the way. Well, you know what? I'm happy this deck's getting nerfed. That deck being nerfed just makes this deck better. So if you want to try it out, either pre-Dark Glare nerf or post-Dark Glare nerf, you'll find the deck code in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, you can click the subscribe button, click that bell, and until next time, see you again.